Hey you guys, it's me Rachel here with Sense of Tempo Cunny Corso. Wanted to do a short video with the puppies. Um, so I sold her sister yesterday, the brindle female that I was gonna keep back and um, quit, no. Um, and I may very well, um, if somebody offers me full price for her, I'll sell her too. Not because I want to, um, but because I've already got two puppies out of Blondie and, um, and, and particularly, you know, I've got Hefe out of Blondie and Batista. So technically I don't need any more lines out of this. I wanted some, but like I said, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I keep my, um, level of dogs at a minimum. Um, not to say that I'm, that I'm, that I, you know, that I want to be able to operate with a tiny amount of dogs. That's not it. Um, it's just that I think that <clears throat> I think that around 25 dogs is probably like the maximum that I would ever need. And, you know, for genetic diversity, you know, I need to be able to diversify a bit. So I'll keep her if you know what I mean? Like, I'm not I don't want to take a loss on her. You know what I mean? Like, that's just because the reality of situation is, is that, you know, financially, it just it literally doesn't make sense to do that particularly because I need um, as much money as I can get right now so that I can build the facility for my kennel so if you're looking for a first pick female that is absolutely fantastic in structure temperament and type oh I mean I'll say her head is a little bully right now but but there's no telling what it'll end up being you know what I mean there's she may very well come out of that completely so so anyway, so as much as I really want to keep her, and I may, just depending on, you know, what happens, I am trying to make sure that I'm only keeping the amount of dogs that I really need and that I'm not just, um, you know, having a bunch of surplus dogs. So currently, um, uh, currently we have two puppies out of this litter that have yet to be picked. Um, we've got, um, these two guys here. So we've got, ah, ah, don't knock it over. We've got this brindle guy here. And then we've got this little guy here. This is the runt. Um, and the, uh, second to last pick person was kind of wanting to, I guess, see their temperaments. Um, you know, they're, they're all extremely, there's really no difference. There's, there's really no difference. All this litter, um, with Blondie or not Blondie, with Nirvana and Mamortigan was, um, literally the most consistent that I've ever had in structure, type, and temperament. Um, you know, they're all very loving. They're all very happy. They're all very happy and healthy. Um, and so, I mean, there just really isn't a big difference. You know what I mean? But I do like to try to help out when I can with people making their decisions. And so, um, oh, did he try to jump yes. out of your hands? Yes. Um, oh, you scared me for a second there, buddy. Yeah. And so anyway, so and the really the only differences that you're going to find are um, some of the puppies have been handled more than others. Um, and so obviously like the baby Mamortigan has been handled a lot because we've, you know, he was a prospect of mine and I was handling him a lot. Same thing with, um, this guy here. Um, he's been handled a lot. He is gigantic. This guy here is getting really big. baby. This is Berlin. You guys, this is my boy Berlin. Um, no Berlin. Um, fantastic pup. This guy I loved him, but he just doesn't have the front assembly that I'm looking for. But um, everything else, just fantastic dog. Um, very loving. So that's my female there. Um, this guy here came out of nowhere. This white striped nose dude. He's he's chunky boy. I think he's going to be like Hefe. He's just really thick. So um, that's our last pick female there. Um, our, little, our little runt female there. This guy here has the best structure out of the whole entire litter. Even better than my females. No. Um... So anyway, um, so yeah, so that's kind of what's going on. Also, um, Reese, uh, Reese is going to be doing a breeding with, uh, Melina, um, with, with Melina. Oh, you're a bad dog. Um, don't have them this close to I don't know why they're this close, but don't do that. Um, sorry. The, uh, puppies were trying to get in with my chickens. Yeah, but they shouldn't be that close. Um, cause even if the chicks jumped out, they could jump in there. You know what I mean? And that would just be, 
That would just be the end. Um, we had one chick that we thought was sick. This one. Yeah, it's really small. It's a lot smaller, and it really was not doing well. And then out of nowhere, it, it just kind of came out of it. So I'm pretty happy about that. So, so far, we've still got I think that's a rooster right there. the same amount. There's no telling. I think because it's darker and it's bigger. No, a lot of my hens are darker. She's actually a darker hen than well, some of the other the ones. Sun. The sun would bleach them. Yes, they would, they would make them lighter. I know, but she's always been a darker hen. Uh -huh. um, she she's like, she's, she's making sure them dogs stay where they're supposed to be. Uh -huh. Anyway, look at that structure. So anyway, um, so yeah, so... Uh, extremely, extremely impressive litter. My best yet. No, no doubt. My best litter yet. The structure, the type, the substance, it's all there. And so love, 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 love. You, you were such a beefcake boy. Oh, did you beefcake? You need your beefcake. You need my baby, Berlin. You need my baby. You need my baby. You are my girl. You are my girl. You are my girl. You're my girl. Yeah, my girl has a longer muzzle. I don't like that, but it is what it is. Look at her. So anyway, um, what was I going to say? Right, Reese is doing a breeding with Achilles and Melina. This is going to be Achilles um, last hoorah. I think he's either, I think he's eight years old now. And so we're, we're trying to utilize him, um, you know, while he's still, um, while he's still able to, to do so. Um, I'm going to be putting Trinity to him. Boop, 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 boop. Um, and what else? Um, God, she mentions, oh, we did a, um, we did an Aria and Mad Mortigan breeding. Um, she was just over here today for that. And then Jade just had her puppy. And so I get, I'm hoping that that's it. Cause she was like, who picked him? She was like telling me and I, I want to make sure I remember. Hmm? Who picked him? He, um, uh, so Matt Mortigan boy, he's going to the second pick male, um, spot. You had first pick male? So, so yeah. he was the second one. And your baby. I'm going to go my baby. He's such minimal white My squishy face boy. Yeah, he's got like a ton. Yeah, these puppies are gigantic, you guys. I mean, they are huge. Um, this one here is 18 pounds. My boy Berlin. Last time we weighed him, 18 pounds. Do you think he's gonna at be nine cold? weeks old? At nine weeks old, you guys. And he's not like he is definitely. He's always been the biggest by a long shot. But um, but anyway, face? but I mean these other guys. I mean you can see him. He's he's trying to come up on him. So Do you think that he's gonna be all black whenever he's older. Because of how I mean, yeah, you can barely. Is? Yeah, you can. He looks like he's gonna be solid oh, black because he just, he just has just that. That's all the white on him. He's mad. So, um, he's, he's, you know, he's going to look solid black. This guy is solid black. He doesn't have a white hair on him. Um, what else? Uh, I'm trying to think so hard right now. He's got a big chest. Um, anyway, I, yeah, that's my girl. Yeah. She's got, you can tell that she's got a little bald spot on top of her head. Not bald, but it's a little bare. It's a little bear. And as you guys remember, these puppies were the ones that had, well, I mean, multiple puppies have had it, but these puppies had the puppy pyoderma. Um, I actually didn't even give them a bath with the dial. And you can just see, this is how it naturally goes away. It, it just naturally, which just naturally so comes in. Hey, baby girl. you your baby girl. What's your mom, baby? You're so cute. You're tiny. baby girl. Yes, You're you tiny. are. Yes, you are. Um, tiny. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Lord. Put that girl down. Give it a that poor baby. That poor baby. Come on, little baby. Um, She's so cute. She's so tiny. Yep. She's so, like, so anyway, so, yeah, we're just trying to kind of, I, I, what I did is I wrote down all the dogs that I have and then knowing the pedigrees and all that stuff. And I just kind of realized that I'm a little blondie heavy right now. I'm a little preacher blondie heavy right now. And so, um, not necessarily preacher in general. I just, I, I'm preacher cashmere heavy. I'll say that. I don't have anything else out of preacher. So, um, I'm going to be happy to doing the, to do this preacher and, um, and Mona litter. That'll be, that'll be cool to have something else. Ingo, my baby. Ingo, my baby. Ingo, my baby boy. Ingo, your baby boy. Ingo, your baby boy. Ingo, your girl. Ingo, your girl. Ingo, your girl. Oh, you going to bite me, boy? You going to bite me? You going to bite me? 
Um, I just love this dude would have been I wanted so bad to take this dude so bad But he he just doesn't have a good front assembly. It really he's got a really fantastic rear top line Length um, a lot of that head type fantastic <laughs> But um, he just doesn't have a good front assembly and unfortunately that's something I'm actually working on very heavily right now So I couldn't make an exception for him, but I saved this man's life you guys when when he came out, he was not breathing. He's the first puppy whose life who I was able to bring back. Um, he was lifeless, not breathing, you know, and I was able to bring him back very quickly. Um, uh, he came back literally within a minute, so I'm not worried about any um, issues there. But, but yeah, I mean, he uh, love him to pieces, but he ain't got the front that I was looking for. So, um... Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> look at that girl. Look at my girl. Look at my girl. Hey, what's up, Berlin? What's up, Berlin? Look at you. Look at you, all excited. Look at you. Oh, he's gonna pee. He says I'm gonna pee. Oh, you're heavy. Yeah, he's huge. Yeah, he's. Yeah. I think we're going to name him Senza Tempo's Mothman, but then we're going to call him, his call name will be Berlin. He really tried. Yeah, he did. Uh, there's a, there's actually a thing called like a Mothman in Virginia that like originated in Are you Virginia. serious? It's like it's supposed to be scary. Ha ha ha. That's awesome. I had no idea. It originated in That's so cool. We just called him Mothman because it looked like he had like a moth on his chest. Go my baby girl. My baby girl. I love her so much. So, um, it's so hard. You guys know. As a, when you love dogs, you want to keep them all. You know what I mean? And I do try to be responsible about that. But She's so happy. I do have to be. I know. So she's so happy. She's so happy. But I do have to be mindful of not, not um, cornering myself into too much genetics. And if I, had, if, I, if I had the plan on having, you know, more dogs or whatever, like a large kennel like that, it wouldn't be a problem, but with me trying to maintain, um, I would say like like a like a typical professional show hobby farm, because um, I would say that most like that's why the Virginia state law is 50 dogs in your commercial breeder, right? And I know I know many breeders, many corso breeders that have 50 dogs. Like that is not rare at all. It is not rare. Um, but I think that for what I'm doing, 25 dogs is, is plenty. And believe me, I'm very close to that. I'm like, I'm at like 16 dogs. So, um, so it seems like a lot, but really when you actually look at what we've got, it's not. And the thing is, is like it, the, that includes my retired dogs, right? So Blondie is retired. You know what I mean? She still counts towards that number. When Velocity retires, she will still count towards that number. When Nirvana retires, she will still count towards that number. Um, when Preacher retires as, a, as an old man. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it, when I, so when I say that, it doesn't mean that I'm going to have, you know, 25 active breeding dogs. That means in general, when it comes to prospects and puppies and things like that, that's what I mean. Because when you really look at how many dogs that I have that are actively breeding, I have a handful of them. You know what I mean? I've got Nirvana, who's actually had a litter. I've got Trinity. I've got Velocity. Um, Mona's had a litter before, but not with me. And we can count Zoe. Um, did we say Nirvana? So that's five females. Sook, I haven't bred Sookie yet, but but we do have yeah I did I did her so technically I have six females that are that are old enough to breed right six so um, and then of course my males right so I've got Preacher I've got Batista I've got Matt Mortigan I've got Hefe I've got Don Juan so that's already five males pardon uh, uh, yeah but Primo's not going to be here Primo's not going to be at this house he's he's going over to another breeder Cape Fear. She needs a new stud, and I could use the room, so um, I'm letting her have him with the understanding that I maintain breeding rights on him, as well as Reese. Reese and I will maintain breeding rights on him. What? Why are they doing this? I don't know. So basically, she gets a free dog that she didn't have to pay for, and we get to keep breeding rights, so it's a win-win. So, um, so anyway, so like I said, you know, I don't have any intention of having like eight, like 25 breeding animals 
It's just that the ability to have 25 dogs here, and, and then, of course, those will cycle out. So when Trinity is spayed um, and retired, she will be rehomed. She's not a dog that gets along with everybody. I'm not going to keep a dog that I retire in a kennel. If I can't have them in the house with me as a part of our, you know, internal pack, like I can with Velocity and Blondie, then they can't, they, they, they can't stay. I mean, that's just the reality. Yeah. But, yeah. 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 And it, and the reality is that it's not fair to the dog. Like, I don't want to have a dog living in a kennel for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's only if they can't get along and if, and if we've got problems. So other than that, you know, like I said, um, I hope that that helps clarify, but, um, we do in order to be a legitimate program, you have to have enough dogs to maintain genetic diversity. And so it, it's extremely important. And, and until you understand how that works, you, then it won't make sense as to why a person would need 25 dogs. In fact, most legit breeders have around 50 dogs. I mean, that's just, I'm just going to be honest with you. People that have their own line have around 50 dogs. Um, because that's just, How yeah, I mean, it just, it, it's hard to explain if I wrote it all down and I really showed you how it works, it would become very clear that in a couple generations, you'd have nothing to breed to. If you only had a couple dogs, I was going to say, imagine like your whole family, like you had yeah. kids yeah. and then all those kids grew up, had their like husbands and wives yeah. and then their kids and y'all moved into one huge house. That'd be a yeah. lot of people. Yeah. Gonna... Can you take care of that? Um, so anyway, so that's where we're at. That's what's going on. Um, go my baby. And your kisses. Oh, um, yeah. You my baby. Um, also, um, I'm going to be trying to do some stuff to help fundraise for my, um, cause I really want to build an, um, a, an indoor kennel, a very nice kennel so that I can basically lock my dogs up at nighttime um, so that even if they were to bark, nobody would hear it, that kind of thing. Like, I'm really wanting to, I mean, you guys know I had already planned on doing something like that, but um, now I'm now that plan is kind of is escalating, right? We're, we're really trying to get it done faster, um, and so um, I'm going to do things to try to, like, fundraise. So we're going to have some new merch put out. I have not done merch in forever, so if you know a graphic designer, if you if if you yourself would would like would like to help, um, let me know. I'm I'm open to design ideas, things like that. But um, it needs to be able to go on a T-shirt, so it can't just be a drawing or a painting. Um, it needs to be digital, and um, and so we're going to be doing that to try to help fundraise so that you guys get something, and then um, we can help kind of build this kennel up. So you'll be getting some fun merch, and in turn, you'll be helping us to um, continue to do what we uh, what we are passionate about and what we are um, what we're good at. It's huge pause. I know she's a big girl. She's a big girl. Kisses. Mwah! So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day, and I will talk at you later. Bye.